Hi everyone, welcome back to Nursing with CG. I'm so happy to know that so many nursing students were able to practice the skills with these videos. And I really wanted to have your feedback. How beneficial was my videos? How useful was my videos? So that gives me an idea or which area I need to focus on. I see that so many viewers for my videos and I see uh, the good subscription rate that indicates that my videos are really helpful and if you really want to have more videos on which topic I can definitely focus on that. If you did not subscribe this channel yet please subscribe I'm going to upload so many skill based videos. I'm going to talk about today how to prime an IV tubing. Let's talk about administration of intravenous medications. Any medication which is administered through intravenous, make sure that you follow four important steps. Number one, check the expiration date of all medications that you are hanging, all fluids that you are hanging. You don't use any medication that expired. Next thing, you are going to calculate the IV fluid as ml per hour and drops per minute. In our hospitals, there are different types of pumps which will help you to program based on the dose which is prescribed by the physician. But make sure if you are working in a remote area. For example, in this pandemic, some hospitals, they don't have enough pump and some patients are admitted outside the hospital in different remote areas. If you want to function there, definitely you need to know the medication calculation. So you calculate the medication based on the prescribed dose. The third thing, all fluids must be labeled with time, date and your initial. The fourth thing, all tubings also should be labeled with date, time and your initial. Why we have to do it? This will prevent the occurrence of infection. Every hospital has different policies to change the tubings on a specific time frame. Normally 72 hours for the primary tubing. If you pass 72 hours, you must change the tubing. This will prevent the occurrence of infection. After checking all the fluids, labels, expiration date, I'm going to hang the bag. First thing, I clamp the roller clamp, then spike the bag, then the hang the bag on an IV pole. The second thing, I'm going to fill the chamber one third of the chamber and unclamp, let the fluid flow through the tube, let the air bubble pass through this cassette and keep the cassette inverted in the first time. Then once it's filled with fluid, turn it upside, then let the fluid go and if any air bubble, let the air bubble escape and once it's primed, insert the cassette in the IV pump in the proper manner and close the lock next thing you're going to hang the piggy bag spike the piggy bag check the expiration date before you spike fill the chamber one third the bag on an IV pole. Make sure the primary bag should be hanging below the level of the piggy bag. Use the equipment for hanging the primary bag and make sure that it is on the lower level of the piggy bag. And clamp the roller clamp. Let the fluid go through the enter tubing. One more time, eh? just discontinue the fluid. Connect 
with the proximal end of the primary tube. Clean the tip with the alcohol before you connect. The tip of the tube, there is another cap, remove it and that is going to the patient's axis. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video.